Hey guys, this is Jonas making video games with you and today I want to talk with you about tension in video games. This is actually based on one of your comments. I couldn't find the comment anymore unfortunately, I think it got deleted. Tension is a massive factor in video games. So let's talk about it and let's use my game Over Snover as a case study. In one of my recent versions it was absolutely lacking tension. Do you want 100% tension all of the time? No. Of course not. You want the tension to vary, you want to have some high tension moments and you want to have some low tension moments. If you have only low tension moments then your game is super boring. This is currently the case with Oversnova because you can pause the game as often as you want. And then on the other hand if you have high tension all of the time, 100% of the time, that can be really exhausting as well. So you kind of need to contrast those two components. One really interesting question is how do you create tension? And I haven't really thought about that all that much. If you have any ideas, leave your thoughts down below in the comments. I'm really interested in hearing your opinion. I think everything that builds an expectation creates tension. So for example, if you fire a shot and it doesn't fire immediately, but it needs some time to charge, like... That can create some short tension curve, because while the shot is charging, you think, oh, I wonder if it will hit what will happen when the shot is fired. Build-ups like this can create tension, that's number one. Number two is uncertainty can create tension. If you don't know what's going to happen, if everything's super predictable, tension goes down. If you don't know what's gonna happen, tension is probably gonna rise. And then the third factor that comes into my mind is obviously difficulty. So if you're really struggling to get through, if you don't know if you can make it, the tension rises as well. But only if you th think it's still possible. If you think it's impossible, then it's more probably more frustration than tension. So those are the three factors that come to my mind. If you have any additional ideas on how to create tension, yeah, please leave them in the comments. Now let's use Oversnova. As an example, how could we create more tension in Oversnova, a better tension curve so it doesn't feel so boring. At the moment it has only one of those three components, that is difficulty, some levels are kind of difficult. So what we could do to fix that is firstly changing the pacing a little bit, not allowing the player to pause every time because every time you pause, the tension drops, you have some time to think, you have some time to relax. And I think a good way to do this is just don't allow the player to pause the game infinitely, or not infinitely, but as often as they want. I think it's pretty cool that when you pause, you have a downtime, you have as much time to think as you want. So I don't want to add a timer to the pause function or anything like that. But I want to limit the use of the pause function. So let's just say you can use the pause function three times in every level. Once you've used it three times, you cannot use it anymore. Firstly, that adds a little bit of strategy to the game when you want to use the pause and secondly it creates a nice tension curve because every time you're playing you're in real-time mode and you have to react quickly to everything that's happening that's basically a high tension moment and then every time you pause the game that's sometimes you have to relax that's a low tension moment and this way i think we contrast high tension and low tension moments quite nicely obviously i want to ri rise the tension over time by making it more and more difficult then something that also helps rise the tension is instant death because the longer you play the more you feel like oh no i hope i don't die now i hope i don't die now i've made it this far i can't die now no please no not instant death it's called permanent death permanent death is probably a, a cool cool way to create some tension so maybe that's another reason to try to change my game to a roguelike system, I'll definitely try the randomly generated levels that are a lot longer. I think that might feel kind of cool. Yeah, one of the factors was also unpredictability at the moment. Oversnova is pretty predictable, you see the entire map. So there are different methods we could create some unpredictability that keeps the player on its toes. Maybe spawning enemies on different positions, just having random events, asteroids that fly through the playing field, stuff like that random bosses, power-ups, whatever. Just random stuff that mixes it up a little bit without, hopefully without making it unfair. I hope that rises the tension. Why is tension so important? Firstly, it makes it more entertaining to play. And secondly, which is even more important, it makes it way more entertaining to watch. And watchability nowadays is such a big deal. If your game has good watchability and a lot of YouTubers play it and a lot of streamers play it and their viewers enjoy watching it, your game's gonna do a lot better. 
is one of the most important features you need to have for watchability. There's more to it, obviously, but tension is a big one. Tension and relief, the contrast. Actually, what do you think? What creates tension in video games? How do you create tension in video games? Which games do you think do this really well? In my opinion, PUBG is probably a good example. It has a really good balance between tension and relief. What other games do you know that do a good job at that? Very curious to hear your opinion. Because I can always learn so much from your comments. You're pretty smart people. So let me know. Thank you very much for watching. Have an amazing day. Make the world a playground and see you in the next one.